what I'm doing here is I'm considering groups A, B, A, B and O or group zero. And I'm going to imagine that these are the donors here. These are donors who are giving their blood. And we need to develop a chart so people can be giving blood when they're blood group A, B, A, B or O. And of course, just thinking about the ABO system, the recipients are going to be A, B, A, B or O. So we want these people to give blood to these ones. Now, how might this work? Well, let's imagine the situation where A is giving to A. Now, this person is going to be giving A antigens, but in the plasma of the A recipient, there are not going to be any A antibodies to agglutinate the donated red cells. Therefore, that is going to be acceptable. Just thinking about the ABO system. Now, if someone's blood group B, if they try and give to someone who is blood group A, then in that case, the B antigens in the donated red cells will be agglutinated by the anti-B antibodies present in the group A blood plasma. So can B give to A? No. They can't. Now, AB contains A and B antigens. And in the A blood, there are going to be B antibodies. So in this case, the B antigens will be agglutinated by the B antibodies in the group A recipient plasma. So clearly that is not allowed. It will give a hemolytic mismatch reaction. Now, someone who's blood group O, O is blood group zero, so there are no antigens on the surface of blood group O red cells. And even although there are B antibodies in the group A plasma, that's not a problem because there's no antigens for it to interact with. So theoretically, that is a permissible transfusion. If A gives to B, the group A antigens will be agglutinated by the A antibodies in the B recipient's blood. So we can't do that. But B can give to B. The reason B can give to B is the B antigens will come into contact with no anti-B antibodies to agglutinate and hemolyze the donated B erythrocytes. A, B to B, well the A antigen will be agglutinated by the A antibodies in the recipient's plasma, so that one's no good either. O contains no antigens, so even although the recipient's group B blood contains A antibodies or anti-A antibodies in the plasma, in theory there is nothing to react with, so that would be acceptable. A giving to AB, the A antigens would not have any A antibodies in the recipient's plasma because AB blood does not contain any antibodies to the ABO system in the plasma. Therefore, in theory, A can give to AB. B giving to AB, well, again, there are no antibodies. There are no immunoglobulins in the plasma to cause problems my pen so that is a permissible transfusion. AB to AB well here you're giving A and B antigens 
but there are no A or B antibodies in the recipient's plasma, so again, that is going to be acceptable. O contains no antigens, so there are no antigens, so no antigens won't react with no antibodies in the AB recipient, so that is an acceptable transfusion, in theory, based on this ABO system. Now, if A gives to O, in O blood, there is going to be anti-A and anti-B antibodies. So the A antigens will be agglutinated by the A antibodies in the group O recipient's plasma. So we can't have that. B antigens, again, will be agglutinated by the B antibodies in the group O blood. So we can't do that. A and B will have A and B antigens to be agglutinated by the A and B antibodies in the group O blood. So that is definitely not acceptable. The O containing no antigens, even although there are A and B antigens in the O recipient's plasma, that's still okay because there are no antigens on the group O blood to interact with the antibodies. So what this means, in theory, that everyone can give to their own blood type. A can give to A, B can give to B, AB to AB, and O can give to O. Just looking at the ABO system. AB, in theory, can receive from anyone. So AB can be called the universal recipient. In theory, just thinking about the ABO system. O, in theory, can give to anyone. So O is described as the universal donor. But of course, when we take the recess factor into consideration, the true universal donor will be O negative, and the true universal recipient will be AB positive. But we would only use this type of thinking clinically in an absolute emergency. Normally, the haematology laboratories will check for many different blood groupings in addition to the ABO recess system. But this shows where you'll get the ABO hemolytic type mismatch reactions and which transfusions are theoretically acceptable.